Today, me and Django are in Algonquin Park. We are hiking for a couple of days, backpacking. So I thought it'd be an awesome opportunity for me to show you what it is that I brought to eat. Uh, so this is my first solo trip. It's my first trip by myself, and it's also my first trip as a vegan. So that definitely altered the things uh, that I bring to eat. And if any of you have been backcountry hiking, camping before, then you know that you need to have things that are very, very lightweight. Oh, there's Django. He's just roaming around, just like hanging out at our campsite. Can I just say like how beautiful this is? Look at that. This is our campsite. This is what I get to wake up to in the morning. Um, anyways, so um, yeah, so you have to have all your food needs to be lightweight. Everything you have to be able to carry it on your back because you're switching campsites every single night. So I made a few different recipes, which I'm going to show you. And I'm also I'm going to put a link below to my blog, which is www inroughcompany.com and I'm gonna put the recipes on there if you guys want to try any of these foods yourself. So let's see what I brought. That's not for you. You can't eat that. Yes, that one's for you. Okay, bye. Okay, this is all the food that I brought. The one on the left here, that is obviously Django's kibble, so I just packed it up into a Ziploc. Um, right here I have matcha, which is like a powder. It's like kind of like green tea. Um, I use this instead of coffee, partially because it makes me feel better, but also you can drink it cold or hot, so I just find it's a lot easier on the trail. So I have that. Uh, my breakfast, I have two of them here. This is rolled oats, and then inside it I also put um, some chia seeds and then some cranberries. So I have those already pre-packaged up so that I can just add water to them in the morning. For my snacks, I have Lara bars. I already ate one today, which is why it is gone, but I have those. Um, I'm trying a bunch of different flavors, so they're all different kinds. Um, for my snacks, I have this trail mix. I have two of those. I ate one again. I ate one today. Um, but instead of buying the trail mix, I decided to just make my own. So I have almonds, walnuts, um, and then these dried bananas, which are my faves. So I have those. I also brought a bag of vegetables. I know a lot of backpackers will say, oh, why did you bring that? It's going to be so much extra weight. But I need vegetables and I figure it's only a couple of days, like the trip isn't that long and I'm not traveling that far in a day, so it's not a huge deal to have that extra weight. It'll make me feel better, so I just, I might as well. So then my dinners, that's going to be the most, um, uh, those were the ones that I did the recipes for. So I have, this one is kind of like a fiesta bean thing. So I have rice, I have black beans. Um, there's some corn in there. I, in all of these, I put chia seeds just for some extra oomph into them. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of spices, lots of spicy things in that one. So that one's gonna be really good. Um, this one is a curry rice. I have some celery, cut up celery in there. Um, I also had some peas. So, and then a, a whole bunch of spices in that one as well. And then I have some couscous. This one, you can see the chia seeds in that. And um, it's garlic couscous, so there's a whole bunch of spices to give it a little bit of extra something. Um, normally, instead of using actual vegetables, I would use the dehydrated ones. Um, but like I said, this trip kind of came on really fast and I didn't have a whole lot of time to order things. So I just decided, since it's a couple days, that I would just just go with what I had. So this is what I'm going to be eating for the next couple days. I'm pretty excited for it. Django's trying to eat my campfire. That's going to be a problem. 